It's hard to believe that I'm standing less than 20 miles from one of the largest industrial cities in the United States. Here in Cuyahoga Valley National Park, we get a great idea of what can happen if we choose to help restore natural areas. Cuyahoga comes from a Mohawk Native American word that means crooked river. Cuyahoga Valley National Park is located in northeastern Ohio, in between the cities of Cleveland and Akron. This is a unique national park because it focuses on the history of the area as well as the natural features. Why did it become a national park? Well, in order to understand that, let's go back in time. Early America was very agricultural and rural. Goods were made in the home or by locals. However, in the 1800s, there was a jump of rapid development when society generally went from agricultural to industry-based and urban. This was the Industrial Revolution. Technological advancements boomed. The increased use of machines in creating goods like food and clothing created a great increase of production, which further encouraged these industries. Inventions like the steam engine allowed for easier transportation and soon the railroad and canalways were being built all across America in order to move the goods to markets. Automobiles were becoming more popular and the country demanded more and more of these innovations. Because of its location on Lake Erie, the city of Cleveland, Ohio became a boom town. Industry started popping up and down all the canalways and rivers so they could transport goods throughout the country. Soon the railroad blazed through. And Cleveland later became the king of the automotive industry, with over 82 manufacturers of automobiles. Other companies like Standard Oil, Sherwin-Williams, General Electric, and Republic Steel were developed in the city. By 1890, there were 2,900 factories in Cleveland. While this revolution resulted in technological advances, mass production, and a booming economy, it also produced dangerous chemical waste, and most industries dumped it into the Cuyahoga River. Over time, this waste built up, the river was covered in oil slicks and contained trash piles on the banks. It soon polluted the drinking water of the city, and people could taste the toxicity in their water. The Cuyahoga River became so toxic that one day it caught fire. In fact, it's recorded that it caught fire over a dozen times in its history. However, there was very little done about it until the river caught fire in 1969. The blaze only lasted 30 minutes, but Time Magazine published an article about it, with this picture from a fire in 1952. This literally sparked the nation to do something about the pollution created by industrial factories. Soon Congress established the Environmental Protection Agency to oversee pollution regulations. Senator Nelson of Wisconsin recruited activists to teach groups of college students about these topics. They chose April 22nd, a weekday between spring break and final exams, to encourage the greatest number of students. They later changed the name to Earth Day 
and it soon became an annual tradition throughout the world where people would gather to help clean up the environment and try to encourage environmental policies. And this brings us back to Cuyahoga Valley. When it was created, it was at the height of this new environmental movement. The people in the area wanted to restore many of the places that seemed lost to industrialization. One example is Beaver Marsh. Here we are at Beaver Marsh. In the 1800s, land development drained all of the wetlands from this area. It soon became an auto repair shop. After the National Park System bought this land in the 1980s, a group of beavers moved into the area. They dammed up the rivers and naturally restored the wetlands to what they are today. The park was also established as a part of Parks to the People to create national parks in and near cities to encourage those from urban areas to enjoy natural beauty. Cuyahoga Valley is a great example of what can happen when we all work together to help protect our environment.